Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another collage. This one I've been working on actually for two weeks. There were a lot of little details that I, you know, I would make, uh, I'd glue pieces on and then decide, oh no, I don't like that there and would change it. So, um, it, this one took me a little longer than I normally spend. I call this pretty rocks. There's two girls squatting in the road looking for pretty rocks. And normally when I'm doing these collages, I am listening to an audiobook, which I find um, very satisfying. I think during this one, I was listening to um, Aftermath by LeVar Burton. Ooh, very exciting book. And also uh, Cecily Tyson's memoir called Just As I Am. Lovely story. I love hearing her voice. <laughs> And LeVar Burton's book was read by him as well. That one was, it was fun. It felt like um, he's reading me a story. Isn't that lovely? So finding just the right uh, shades and tones um, was a little difficult on this one, a little more than usual because I had a certain image in mind and would search through all these old magazines and catalogs and things and not find exactly the right tones and colors that I wanted. And so, uh, so I spent several days just searching through my old um, files of paper and I have quite a few stacks of paper. We have quite a windy day today. A blustery day, as Winnie the Pooh would say. So I'm using a pair of tweezers to get these little pieces of hair just where I want them. And because I made the background with so much um, middle ground tone, I needed to make a lot of light, 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 light colors on the girls' shirts and arms to make them stand out against all this middle tone. It's little things like that you have to think about while you're working these.
you know the color I chose there for the uh, light bright spots on the arms looked like a very pale yellow but up against the yellow on on their hair it it pales into something almost greenish gray and I'm not sure if I like it but that's what I chose so I'm stuck with it at the moment unless I decide later to change it and then after working um, with all of this good value in their hair I decided that the features on the face weren't quite pronounced enough so I put a darker almost red for their lips not that you know children have that much color in their lips but you know it's the whole value system if you don't have the values quite right it'll look off There it is, finally all put together with little birds and a hand and a girl in her shirt there, a cat in the background and pine cones. A few words here and there. A mountain lion and a man's face. What do you think of hiding pictures in a picture like that? I find it fun. I mean, it's collage after all. Well, thanks for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this one and do subscribe. Check out some of my links below and come again. Bye everyone. See you next time.